this is Mrs. Lemoyne, and today we will be doing Grade 5 Illustrative Math, Unit 3, Lesson 6, Multiply Fractions. All right, so let's get started with our learning goal. Today our goal is to multiply two non-unit fractions using diagrams and expressions. And remember, a non-unit fraction is a fraction without the numerator 1. All right, here is our warm-up. And just like always, we have a which one doesn't belong. So let's look at A. So remember in this book, I can choose which one doesn't belong. I can choose any one of them to not belong, right? I just have to give a valid reason. So let's look at A. A doesn't belong because it doesn't have a side length. I can notice that all the other side lengths have a unit fraction, yeah? A unit fraction but a doesn't a has a side length up here of two out of three one two three two shaded three shaded out of four over here in B I have one out of three and three out of four so these two are the same size but this has double the shaded as B correct and then this one has one out of four. So there's my unit fraction, right? Unit fraction, unit fraction. And then one, two, three, four, five, six out of seven. And then across the top over here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. And remember, I can only count the ones in one block, right? One diagram. So we're going to say six out of three. And, but over here, I have one out of four. So there is my unit fraction. So I could say A doesn't belong because it's the only one. Get this up here so I can write legibly here. The only one that doesn't have a unit fraction. So it does not have unit fraction. Okay. So why doesn't B belong? Well, B doesn't belong because it doesn't have six shaded pieces. Everything else has six shaded, right? And I can see that. I can see that right here. Six. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, right? So B is the only one that doesn't have six shaded. All right. All right, let's look at C. Why wasn't C, why doesn't C belong? Well, I can see that it's cut up into smaller pieces, right? And the number of pieces is more. Um, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, times one, two, three, four. So that's gonna be 28 pieces. Where up here, I have one, two, three, four, times one, two, three, 12. Three by four, 12. And in one of these, I have a three by four, which is 12. So it, it, it has smaller pieces and it's not divided into 12. So I could choose C. It has, oops, smaller pieces. And the only one that isn't 12. Cut into 12 pieces, 12 pieces, I should say, be exact there. All right, and then D, obviously I could choose D because it is more than one square represented in the diagram, right? More than one whole represented in the diagram. So its shaded pieces aren't in one whole diagram. I have two here. So D doesn't belong because it is not contained in single square units. So we could put that it is more than one, more than one, than, than one whole diagram. Now it's not whole, more than one shaded, right? But you can see two holes there. All right, great job. So let's see if they have any questions for us. So we already talked about why A doesn't belong. It's the only one that doesn't have a, um, it's the only one that doesn't have a unit fraction. 
And then the second part that they want us to answer is what is the area of the shaded region in image A and how do you know? So we could count, we could count the area of the region that is shaded. I say it's one, two, three, four, five, six out of 12 pieces. Six out of 12 pieces. I could also write a, an expression for that. Remember how we do that, right? We could say that it is three-fourths times two-thirds. And that's going to give us the 6 out of 12. Nice job. All right, let's go on to activity one. Activity one says many, many expressions, many expressions. Explain or show how each expression can represent the area of the shaded region in square units. Be prepared to share your thinking. And the first expression they give us is a fraction. But remember, a fraction, this should be 2 and this should be 3. A fraction is an equation, really, because that bar means divided by, doesn't it? Okay, so it is an expression. All right, so what I notice about this one is that in the diagram, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's get a color that it will work. So I have 8 shaded. Well, that's my numerator. So 8 shaded out of... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this side is 6 pieces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 pieces right here. And 6 times 5 means that there are going to be 30 pieces in all. 30 pieces in all. And each one of these pieces is going to be 1 30th, right? 1 30th. Each is going to be 1 30th. not pieces. Is one thirtieth of the whole. All right. So one thirtieth, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight thirtieths is shaded all together. All right. Our next expression says two times four. Well, when I look at this, I can see two, right? Here's two here, shaded, two along this side, and that's going to be two out of six, right? But two shaded, and along the top, I have four shaded, four out of five, four out of five shaded. Okay, so that's the two and the four, and two times four will give me the eight that is shaded, yes? What about this? What will this be? This will be 1 30th, right? And remember, we already talked about each piece is 1 30th. So this and this and this are all the same. All the same. The shaded region is a 2 by 4 and the is shaded in. And each piece is 1 30th of the square. All right, let's look at the last one. 2 fourths of, or two-fourths times, no, two-sixths, two-sixths times four-fifths. Well, I can see that because this side represents two-sixths, and this side represents four-fifths. So I could say two-sixths of four-fifths of the whole square is shaded. The whole square is shaded. All right. Okay, moving on. We talked about how 8 30th represents the diagram. There are 8 shaded in the region and 30 square uh, pieces all together and each piece is 1 30th. We also talked about how does the expression 2 times 4, well, we have our 2 along here times 4. That represents the shaded region. And then the 1 30th is each square is worth 1 30th. Oh, here we go. We have to complete the table. So I have a diagram, and I need to write a multiplication expression and then give the area in shaded units. So let's look at that. 
Again, I'm going to look across the top or the horizontal top of the diagram. And I'm going to notice that we have three out of five shaded. One, two, three, four, five. I have three out of five shaded. And then I, when I look across this side, I notice that I have one, two, three, four all together, but only two of those are shaded. So I can write a multiplication expression two fourths times three fifths. Or if you prefer, three fifths times two fourths. And we know that those are equal multiplication expressions. So how much is shaded all together? Well, I can count. There are six shaded all together. I also notice that two times three is six. And the denominator is going to be out of how many pieces there all are all together, right? This is one out of how many? five and five times four is 20. So that's going to be 1 20th. So four times five is 20. And this equals the same thing as well. Okay, let's look at our next one. I notice that they are divided. I have four pieces shaded and there are five total. And then over here I have three pieces shaded and there are four total. So I'm going to do the same thing, three fourths times four fifths gives me 12 twentieths. And again, I could have started with the four fifths times three fourths. I'm still going to get 12 shaded pieces out of 20 altogether. I do notice that this one has one more column and one more row added to it. Let's see if we can continue that pattern. Let's move to the next one. Right, here we go. C. C is interesting. I have one, two, three, four, five, and five are shaded. Over here I have four, and four are shaded. So I could write an expression of five times over five times four over four and get 20 over 20. And what do we know when the numerator and the denominator are the same? That equals one whole. And that's exactly what's colored in there, what's shaded in, one whole square. So I could have also seen that five out of five is one whole and four over four is one whole and gotten my one whole. So either one of those would be correct. All right, ooh, D is a little bit different. And then again, they did add another column and another row, didn't they? So D, again, I, on this side, I have a four over four but up here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. And remember, we only count the one whole square. So six out of five. So let's write that multiplication expression. Four over four times six over five. Four times six, I know that's 24. So let's make sure that that's correct by counting the squares, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Yes, 24 are shaded out of 20 in the one whole square. So 24 out of 20. Nice job. So what patterns did I notice? Well, we kind of noticed it as we went, right? Every time they're adding another column, except for this one, and another row. We didn't get another row with this one because it was already filled up. So that's what I noticed. Explain or show how the expression 6 times 4 and 5 times 4 represent the last di diagram. So that's the same as this, right? They wrote it the, w the other way. They wrote 6 fifths times 4 fifths. And we did talk about that already. The number of those pieces in the whole represent that. Okay, let's move on to the synthesis. How do the expressions in the table represent the number of pieces shaded in and the size of the pieces shaded in? Well, if we multiply the numerators, we get the number of pieces, right? Shaded in. So let's write that. Numerators, if we multiply numerators, 
colors. We get the number of shaded region. Number shaded. If we multiply the denominators, what did we get? The number of pieces. Number of pieces, but also the size of the piece, right? Like 1 30th was a lot smaller than 1 20th. So we get those. We get the number of pieces and the size of the piece. Okay. All right, here's another representation. We can multiply the numerators to find the numerator in the product. Right? The numerator in the product, so 2, ti two times 3 would give me how many are shaded? 6. And how many pieces are there? Well, there are 4 on this side. Whoops. 4 on this side and 5 up here. So they're going to be each piece is 1 20th. So 6 20ths. So how does the diagram represent 2 times 3? We talked about that. There are two pieces here and three pieces here. And we can multiply the denominator in the product. 4 times 5 is 20, and 2 times 3 is 6. And we just talked about how it represents 4 by 5, 4 times 5. All right, here we are at the cool down, finally. All right, write a multiplication expression to represent the area of the shaded region. So we can do that. We know that we have one, two, three, four, five, six pieces at the top, six pieces at the top, and five of them are shaded. So one of our factors is going to be five, six. Then I can see that two are shaded out of four, so the other factor is going to be two fourths. And we only needed to write an expression for this one. Now we have to find the area, right? So that means we're going to have to find out how much area is this. Well, I can see there's 10. 5 times 2 is 10. And 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that's going to be 10. But 10 out of how many? Well, if this is 4 and this is 5, we just have to multiply that to get that each piece is 1 20th. So it's going to be 10 out of Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's 6, isn't it? 4 out times 6. And 4 times 6 is 24. So each piece is going to be 10, 1 24th. And all together, the shaded region is 10 out of 24 square units. And we could have multiplied that across. 5 times 2 is 10. That's our numerator. Multiply the numerators, get a numerator. Multiply the denominators and get a denominator. All right. That was a cool lesson. So that's the end of lesson six. I'll see you in lesson seven. Remember to like and subscribe so I can continue to do these lessons for you.